On this day in 1973, United States Armed Forces departed from Vietnam, ending the country's direct involvement in the Vietnam War. Today at the Archway in Kearney, a celebration for those veterans. Local force Leroy Triggs attended the celebration and joins us from our Grand Island newsroom with more. Leroy. Brandon, the Global War on Terror Veterans also was included in that celebration, and they spoke on what they went through during wars in Iran and Afghanistan. Now, this event has been going on for seven years after President Donald Trump declared it an official day of recognition in 2017. They started this celebration at Apollo Park seven years ago with only one attendee, and now there's a room full of people that joined them to celebrate Vietnam veterans. Vietnam veteran Denny Hoshka took the lead on this event to help veterans in need. Hoshka says that 50 years after the war, he was able to see that veterans were hurting, misunderstood, and their health is declining. He feels that as time goes along, it's time to just charity each other a little bit more. Well, we're in our 70s and 80s. Vietnam veterans are in our 70s and 80s, and we don't know how many more of these we're going to have and some of us have health health issues and uh, we're, we're brothers and sisters in a in an event that uh, kind of shaped our lives. Hoshka says oh, Hoshka says they get together because they have been places and seen things that other people just don't understand. Now Vietnam veterans didn't exactly get a warm welcome after they first returned home from the war. But now, many are recognizing their sacrifices, and Hoshka doesn't feel like it's too late to receive that. Brandon, one thing I could tell you is that every veteran appreciates when a kid comes up to them and tells them, thank you for your service.